Welcome back guys, so in this particular video I'll be explaining how to get the A slash A star in Edexo A-Level Maps. First of all, you need to know how to use your textbook effectively. So if you open up your Edexo A-Level Maps textbook, you've got basic questions, you've got E questions, you've got P questions, and you've got E slash P questions. The basic questions are just warm-up questions. The E questions are exam questions, the P questions are problem solving questions, and the E slash P questions are exam and problem solving questions. Your target as a student is to make sure that you complete all the E questions, all the P questions, and all the E slash P questions from the textbook. Now, you should be checking your work using Active Learn. If you haven't got access to Active Learn, make sure you gain access to Active Learn. On Active Learn, you've got the model solutions to all of the questions from the textbook. So use Active Learn to check your solutions. Once you've done all the E questions, the P questions and the E slash P questions, your next step is to target all the past exam papers. Some useful websites, guys. Maths Genie, Crash Maths, Exam Solutions, Physics and Maths Tutor. Check out these websites and attempt all the past exam papers. Use the mark scheme to check your work. It is very important that you consistently check your work in order to identify any gaps. Once you've completed all the E, P, E slash P questions from the textbook and the past exam papers, the next step is to stretch and challenge yourself. Well, how do we stretch and challenge ourselves? You can just open up your textbook. At the end of each exercise, there is a challenge question. Make sure you finish all the challenge questions. Once you've completed all of these tasks, what is the next step as a final prep before the exam? Well, what you can do is like a mini presentation on each chapter. So, you've got chapter 1, do a mini presentation on it, summarise the whole chapter. You've got chapter 2, do a mini presentation on it, summarise the whole chapter. Do this for all of the chapters as a final prep before the exam. Once you're in the exam room, try not to put pressure on yourself. Just say to yourself, you know what, I've revised hard, I've ticked off all the boxes, and now I'm just going to give it my best shot. Read the questions carefully, very important. Underline key parts and then start your solution. Make sure your solution is presented in a logical way, so going downwards, step by step. Always look at the number of marks available. If it's one mark, then you just have to give the answer. If it's more than one mark, then what you need to do is show some working out. Once you're done with the exam, don't think about it. You've given it your best shot and definitely you'll achieve if you've put in the work. Hard work always pays off, guys. If you found this video useful, don't forget to tap the subscribe button.